Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Um, as promised, I said that I was going to show you the second part of the recipe for the Get Better Soup. <laughs> and it's a sweet potato and butternut squash soup that I created on my own. So I did it in my in my Instapot. And my Insta, I unplugged it. It beeped already. I did it for 30 minutes on the soup. I'm just going to pull this a little closer here. I used my soup button. And... Then I hit my, my cook time, uh, when I hit my soup button or whatever, the 10 seconds came up and then I hit it again and it was up to 30 seconds. So push it and you'll get your 30 seconds. Um, so anyway, the, this is all, this is all done now and the lid is very hot. I've already released the steam, which you'll see, I'll take my, my lid off here careful because the lid is hot. So here is your pressure valve button. When your Instapot is done and it beeps, you're going to take a spoon and you're going to notice that the lid, the valve has like a little lip here. So you're going to take a spoon and you're going to carefully flip this up and it's going to start to release the steam. So stand away from it so that it's not going to, it's not going to go in your face. You don't want to burn yourself. So. All my vegetables are ready and I'm just going to because it's still hot and I'm normally I would let this cool or make it ahead of time and then I would just reheat it later um, so that I can cool it to blend it down but I'm I'm, I'm getting hungry so <laughs> I'm gonna dump this right in here I'm gonna use a ladle and I'm gonna t I squish down most of my vegetables so that way they're just made it easier to incorporate into the blender. I'm just going to use my ladle here and as you can see I've got like the sweet potato peels and all those vegetables that I showed you guys in the live video all incorporated into here and I'm going to just blend it down so that it turns it into a nice creamy soup. Just about at the end here. Alright. I'm gonna put that aside. Grab my other oven mitt because the Instapot is still very hot. And I'm just going to remove the insert. Dump the rest of that in there. Make sure you don't overflow it because there is heat in here so when you turn the blender on it is going to create some pressure so I'm going to go ahead and grab my lid toss that on there and I got up to the seven cup mark so I'm going to click the power on and I'm going to use my pulse and I'm going to hold the top here just to make sure that my little the little lip on my lid doesn't flip up so here we go it's going to be loud sorry <laughs> it. Now you can take the rest of your your ingredients and incorporate it into there. Just going to grab my, my bowls, remove the spoons, and carefully pop the lid. And now you have a nice creamy feel better soup. which is fantastic on cold days like today. <laughs> that is going to keep you warm and healthy and it's simple ingredients that you can use just that you have around your house and everything incorporated, your ginger and garlic and the wasabi, again the wasabi is optional, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, some carrots, broccoli, all that is blended down in here so you're getting tons of vitamins in one simple soup. So there you go. I hope that you've enjoyed.